Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a fascinating question from a developer who's working with TypeScript and typed arrays. They want to know how to create a function that can resize a typed array while preserving its type. Let's explore this together. Our viewer's question is quite specific. They want to write a function that takes any typed array, like a uint32 array, and returns a new typed array of a different size filled with the original elements. For example, if they pass a uint32 array with values 1, 2, and 3 and request a new size of 5, the function should return a new uint32 array with those values followed by zeros. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. To address the issue of resizing a typed array in TypeScript, we need to define a function that can handle various typed array types while ensuring type safety. First, we will define our function using generics. This allows us to specify that the function can accept any type of typed array and return the same type. Next, we need to ensure that TypeScript recognizes the properties we want to use, like bytes per element and slice. To do this, we can create a type constraint that extends the typed array interface. Now let's modify the constructor call. Instead of using source.constructor directly, we can use a generic type that represents the constructor of the typed array. With these adjustments, TypeScript should no longer complain about the missing properties or constructor issues. This way, we maintain type safety while achieving the desired functionality. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To define a generic typed array in TypeScript, start by creating a declaration file. Name it extras.des. Next, add a line of code to define the typed array type, including various typed arrays like int8 array and float64 array. Now, the typed array type will be available throughout your project, and you can use this file to declare more custom types. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. A user modified an existing solution for defining generics in typed array, but it still has issues with untyped constructor properties. They shared the code for future reference, noting that it does not compile as of May 2017. The code defines a generic typed array interface and a resize function that adjusts the size of the array. However, it fails to type check with standard typed arrays like uint8 array. The user also created a dummy array class to demonstrate the intended functionality, but it highlights the limitations of TypeScript's type system regarding constructors. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. 
And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.